Good morning, everybody. Baron Blackbird coming at you on the 1st of June, 2021 with my Dark Fire Heroes item shop review. Let's get to it. Epic Hero Booster. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Maybe not. Let's not get to it so fast. Our Epic Hero Booster of 770 cards for $100. We've talked about this pack specifically in the past. It does have three of the major five things I don't like about the packs that are being offered to us currently. If you want to know what those are, please check out the extended item shop review we do every Saturday where we do a deep dive into those reasons. I don't cover them Sunday through Friday because I want to get people out the door, on the way to school, to play the game, to work, to whatever it is they're going to do versus listening to a deep dive every single day. Here we have 18 Lorenzo cards for 40 cents or approximately 40 cents. Not horrible. It's a little you know, it's a little more than two cents per card not horrible uh but i'm not a huge fan either good character just not a huge fan of spending my 40 cents this way i'd rather save up that 40 cents and buy something bigger here have eight spell cards yes spell cards are difficult to come by and lightning is a spell i don't know how useful it is in mid late mid mid late game early game it's a decent spell for arena i will admit uh, single target damage um, it is also, uh, yeah, single enemy. For a buck, I think those eight spell cards, I think that's way too expensive for a buck. Let's take our free chest. Thank you very much, especially considering we have the $10 uh, deal which pops up. I think it, I don't know, it was there yesterday and the day before. It might be there again today. Heroica, Epic, and Legendary chests. We are going to pass unless it is Gold Burst Day. It is not Gold Burst Day. It's Gold Rush Day. This is where you spend gold, not where you get the gold. It's where you spend gold. And Gold Burst Days, Heroic Epic, and Legendary, and other chests will give you twice as much gold when you open them. That's why we save them for those days. We have no deals on our gems today. We have base our gem price on the $5 pack. We figure any particular day somebody might skip a coffee or a donut or whatnot. Maybe you don't have that last drink with dinner when you're eating out. And take your 5 bucks and buy gems with it. However, if you're going to spend only $5 on the game, there's a better place to spend it. If you've watched it before, you know where I'm going with that later. Therefore, we are looking at a penny piece for our gem price. If you were to take those 500 gems and purchase gold, say this 10,000 gold pack here, don't buy gold with gems, people. Don't do it. However, if you did, it would be 2,000 gold for a dollar. And we use this energy stone down here at the bottom for a dollar. Mine currently is at 21 energy. The most energy anybody can ever have and capped is 25. Unless, of course, you receive energy from a gift that someone may buy you for your clan. We saw those offers during this last event. We typically see those during these events. We use 20 energy as our price range for a dollar for when we're figuring out our pack valuations. Let's take a look. Right off the bat, five major reasons I'm not a fan of this pack. We're gonna pass. Here's a big spell chest. 500 common and 175 rare cards for a total of 675 cards for $25. Like I said, spell cards are difficult to come by. Uh, the only real place you're going to get them with consistency is in a couple of key packs that they offer. Either just spell cards or a hero or two with spell cards, typically. We do have some event packs that have a lot of spell cards in them, too. However, if we come back here and we look at the 40 cents for these 18 cards, right? If we were to double that, let's say, okay, no, let's times 10 for $4, right? Times 10, that'd be 180 common cards for four dollars if we were to take that and multiply it again for 20 times that'd be eight 40 times that would be what 16 so five times we've got to multiply that no, no, 40 times 50 times if we multiply this deal 50 times it takes us to 20 bucks right oh then we have to get up to the 25 bucks oh my god so we have to multiply this deal what six times no not six times sorry we have to multiply upon multiply my bad okay 40 cents, we multiply by 10 for $4. 20 will get us eight. 16 will get us, I'm sorry, 16. Oh my God, it's too early in the morning. 10, 20, 30, okay, 40 of these would get us to $16. 50 of these would get us to $20, right? And then 60 of these would get us to $25. Is that what we're looking at here? Let's run the math. I don't typically do this during show, but we always do this cold. Okay, 0.4 times 60. Yeah, okay. So 60 of these deals. If we were to buy this particular, at this rate, 60 times, 
that would give us 1,080, 1,080 of Lorenzo. Now it takes over 5,000 cards to get a hero completely leveled up, that's not the point. But it, we would get 1,080 cards for about 25 bucks here. We're getting half that. We're getting half that in common cards. And yes, we're getting 175 rare, but you have to ask yourself, are rare cards worth more than double what a common card's worth? So if we, we took half our common cards away here, are rare cards worth more than double what a common card is worth? Okay, remember, I wasn't a huge fan of this pack to begin with at two cents per card, but that's about what hero cards go for on a regular basis. This right here is an average offer. It's a C, nothing special, nothing special, okay? It does give you, we, we, it, and again, it has five of the major reasons I'm not a fan of this pack. Okay, moving forward, four of the major reasons I'm not a fan of this pack. When I say I'm not a fan of a pack, that means it's a pass, people. 50% off, we have 100, okay, for 15 bucks, we have 150, 90, and 25. Not horrible. If we come over here and we take a look at the legendary chest, we have 250, 80, and 18, right? You're paying for the epic piece of gear in there. 250, 80, and what did I say, 18? It's very close to this. Now you are, forget the elemental essence here. This elemental essence is worth about four bucks. Eh, no, I'm sorry, 120 there. Yeah, about four bucks. We're gonna, basically you're spending 10 bucks for the cards here. Hmm, at that price, well, let's take a look. If we bought two epic chests, because there's no gear involved in either one, that'd be 240 and 80, right? 240 of the common, 80 of the rare, and 10 of the epic? Yeah. So based against an epic chest, this is an okay value. This is an okay value. We're gonna call this a B plus. We'll call this a B to B plus offer right here. There's still five major reasons. Not a fan of this one. I'm not a fan of the permanent boost for characters either. $80 to get you to level six. Ouch. This is basically a hundred cards. This is basically a hundred cards. You're paying 80 bucks to get this hero to level six. Granted, you could use the cards that you have right now to level this hero up if you have some and then get the boost from there. Yes, because it's level-based, not card-based. However, to do it at this point, it's $80 for about 100 cards. No, boy, no. And we have the same thing down here with links. No, bueno. 50 bucks for a rare to take them to level seven. No, pass, 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 pass. I know I say pass a lot, but that's just the way it is. Whoops. And we've already talked about this deal at the bottom. Special deals, we will take the free daily. Thank you very much. Common and the weekly. We will take our free weekly towards the end of the week. We will take our free monthly towards the end of the month. I'm gonna skip talking about all those deals. They are the same deals we have every single day, every single week, every single month. Romeo, mix it up. Come on, give us something different here. Even if you're going to give us the same items, mix up how you offer them to us somehow, something. Yes, they do mix up the dailies here. The essence change, sometimes it's gear shards over here in the middle one, but mix it up, come on. If you wanna know, go and check the extended item shop review. We go over all of those offers on the extended item shop review on Saturday. I've already talked too long as it is today. If you remember the top of the show, we were talking about the $5 if you're gonna buy it. If you're going to spend five bucks and only five bucks in the game, I suggest the monthly card here. It'll give you 3,300 gems or $33 in gems at the price point we are using or the valuation we're giving out the price point. The deluxe monthly card of $15 is more in your wheelhouse is my top suggestion. It always has been and may always be into the future until we see something different in the store. For $15, you're going to receive 11,500 gems or $115 in value in gems. If you buy that same amount of gems in the normal portion of the shop, it would cost you $80 and you would receive 10,000 gems. You'd have to buy even another pack to even surpass the 11,500 gems you're getting here. If you're enjoying the game, you're going to come back all the time and play all the time. So go ahead and get it. And at the end of the month, you'll have your gems. Okay. And yes, you can buy both at the same time as you can see I've done here for science. 
I'm Baron Blackbird. I do this seven days a week. On Saturdays, we do extended item shop reviews, and we usually have a feature added. I don't remember what the feature was this week, but we added something on this Saturday as well. Take care, have fun, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye for now.